Are there peaceful and diplomatic ways to promote and cultivate political moderation in the in the Muslim dominated yeah, Arab world? Don't you believe it? Uh, of course. No, I'm not. asking. Are there? Of course not. Mm -hmm. I mean, as Osama bin Laden said, that they, they Muslims will follow the strong horse. When you, if you, we had an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, that was torpedoed by the Democrats mm -hmm. right at the uh, after Saddam Hussein was toppled. Um, if we had a united front domestically, mm -hmm. uh, we should have gone into Syria, mm -hmm. or at least pressured the Syrians. Look what happened with Gaddafi. He mm -hmm. gave up major nuclear program, major chemi chemical weapons mm -hmm. uh, factories, gave them up because he was afraid the United States would go in and knock them off. Right. Uh, if, if Assad you had that fear, with this year? if Assad had that fear put in, into him, we wouldn't be in the situation we are today. But what we have, we now have a new Jimmy Carter in the White House uh, who diddle dawdles over Syria, who undermined uh, a bad man, but our ally in the Middle East, uh, mm -hmm. Mubarak, did exactly what Jimmy Carter did. He undermined the Shah, uh, and then in came Khomeini, who launched this Islamic revolution throughout the Muslim world, mm -hmm. and who killed more people, more Iranians, in three years mm -hmm. than the Savak under the Shah had killed in all in 25. Mm -hmm. So it's you know history repeating itself. In a, so is he, uh, is your I, I, I apologize if this sounds like putting words into your mouth and I'm not trying. So to. if there are moderate so, Muslims stand up. Yeah. You know there were good Germans, but in the end so, they didn't make a damn's worth of difference. So so when you I only moderate Muslim I recognize is one who stands up stands up for the right of Israel to exist, condemns Karadawi, uh, and the and the Muslim Nazis. When I see that kind of Muslim. And I do. I Zudi Yasser is a friend of mine, is one of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can count them on the fingers of one hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm not putting any faith in the ability to get moderation. Uh, okay. Particularly, you know, Alan Dershowitz, who's not a conservative, wrote a very, very good book. He's written several. Right. But the one I'm thinking of was called Terrorism Works. And it was how Arafat. You remember when we used to be able to get on airplanes uh, without going through security? That was before Yasser Arafat started hijacking them. But every time Arafat committed a, a, a heinous attack of uh, act of terrorism, he was rewarded. He was invited to the UN by, uh, uh, well, of course, the cannibal was also invited, Idi Amin, but he was invited <laughs> to the UN, he was invited to the White House. Terror works. And as long as that's the case, there aren't going to be any moderates in the Muslim world. So does this make the, the bin Laden killing basically form over substance? Is it almost irrelevant? Oh, I think it was good to kill him. He was an evil man. But, um, but does it help is what I'm asking you. Not, not particularly. Right. I, I just read a Gallup poll, uh, a Pakistani Gallup poll, so it's mm -hmm. conducted by Pakistanis. 50% of Pakistanis were sad that Osama bin Laden was killed. Only 11% are happy. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that, that that's my reading of the Muslim world. Somewhere between 20 and 50 percent are uh, followers of uh, Al-Qaeda. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that they're all willing uh, to blow themselves up or take the risks involved, but they spiritually follow uh, Al-Qaeda. So the jihadist threat against Israel, well, of course, against Israel is going to be even higher, but against the West, is about 500 million Muslims. Uh, and I have yet to find the liberal, I'm sure there are some, who understands that this is, this is the nature of the threat. It's huge. It's not small. It's huge. But there must be liberals who you respect for their intelligence. Alan Dershowitz. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> the list stops yeah, at I one point. Howard Berman, who is a Democrat, has been a, a Tremendous uh, advocate, uh, supporter of Israel. Uh, you know, there are a few.